Another quick look video today, I'm looking at the Nightcore NU27. This is a new multicolour headlamp. As usual, I'll go through a quick unboxing. I try and keep these videos as short as possible. There is a user manual which also includes a quick start guide, just to give you an overview of the UI. This bag is for carrying all the items in, but you can also use it as a diffuser, as a sort of camping light. Type-C to Type-C charging cable and quite a short one and there is a clip. It's quite a compact and lightweight unit. You'll notice we do have those four LED lenses on the front and the MCT stands for the multi-colour temperature. So we have three temperatures in total, a cool, a neutral and warm white. On the top there is the switches. You'll notice that they are a different size and you've also got some texturing on the power button. We've got the angle adjustment with clicks and that will point pretty much directly down. You can push it down a bit further if you want to. Nightcore have supplied quite a nice wide headband and this has the reflective markings and it's also perforated. There's a silicone band on the inside that gives a bit of grip on a hard hat or it stops sweat. Just show you attaching the clip and that pushes in quite firmly, it doesn't come off easily. You could attach it to a pocket or a bag or something like that, it could be useful. If you want to take it off, just push it from the other side. The build quality feels fine on this, it is plastic but it does feel fairly dense and well made. There's your USB-C charging port, around about hour and 15 minutes charging time from flat. I'll just quickly cover the user interface now, that's pretty straightforward. Long press for on and off, always comes on in a neutral white low mode. When it is on, you can just quickly press the power switch to cycle through the low, mid and high modes. Ultra low is a double press when it's off and the turbo is also a double press, but when it is powered on. When it is on, just press the mode button on the left to change through the neutral, warm and cool white. Double press on the mode button takes you into your strobe modes and you have three of those. Just another double press will take you back to the last mode you were in. They can be useful for emergency use. You've got the SOS beacon and a slow flashing which is in the red LEDs. To get to the static red output you want to long press that mode switch and a quick press on the power button will take you through the two different levels on that. With the lockout hold both switches in for two seconds and that will lock and unlock the light. Easy enough UI to pick up, I didn't have any problems or complaints with that, everything is covered. Four stage battery and charge indicator, well, they are blue LEDs. I have put the specs for the output and run times on screen for you. So we start off with the beam shots quickly, just a quick look with the TH10R, I've used this for quite a while now as a standard sort of output. Interesting beam output on the Nightcore, it has quite a good range on it really, even at the lower power levels. Typically what you find with the neutral and warmer white is they tend to be not quite as powerful as the cool white. So they've only given you the figures for the cool white output, but it does seem a bit more powerful than I was expecting. There's enough battery power to run this at the 70 lumens mark all night. So that's quite useful, even though it's a compact size head torch. Time for a few more beam shots, then I'll give you my quick summary at the end.
some of my thoughts with the NU27. Do like the beam output on this and the fact that you have a choice between three different colour temperatures. It's also very lightweight and compact. It's a shame that the battery isn't user replaceable, that is an obvious downside to me. I'd like to see a 14500 or AA compatible version, it might be a bit bigger, but I think that would be a useful addition to the range. Overall I give it a thumbs up though, I do quite like this one. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in future videos.